G'day guys, welcome back to Fisherman's Office. My name is Lee, if you're tuning in for the first time, hit the subscribe button. We're going to go and sight fish with some carp and uh, maybe some redfin. Just depends on uh, how the water looks down at the uh, pond there, the little dam that I go and visit every so often. Um, there's plenty of carp in there. I've caught carp on bait before. I'm going to throw some unweighted bread and maybe some plastics. Just depends on how they're going and see if I can get onto a nice fat carp. So let's get stuck into it. Well, it is actually a Tuesday afternoon, about 3.30 in the afternoon now. And if there's one blessing I'll take out of uh, having less hours at work, it's the opportunity to get out and fish. Even though it's only two hours away, uh, two hours per day where I'm permitted to fish in Metro Melbourne. Um, you know, I've found a couple of spots that I think I'm going to look at with um, uh, regards to carp fishing and stuff like that. So it should be interesting to get out and uh, have a crack for that stuff. I've already been to this place numerous times already. Um, there is one other place that I visited with Jerry Dent a little while ago. You would have seen a carp fishing video there. Uh, so that's two spots that I've got that I know that I can catch fish. So, you know, and they're within my 5k radius. So pretty happy to be able to at least find some water that has fish in it. So, you know, so there's a lot of people out there that don't have that, uh, which is really sad. So, yeah, we'll get out there and we'll see if we can hook onto something and go from there. In the city, we've got a right-hand lane closed northbound on King Street. Little collision just after Lake Street. Town. And in Brunswick, Tinning Street is closed. Found this mask is the best one to not fog up my sunnies because it's quite a thin material, allows a lot more flow out there. Probably doesn't do as much protection uh, wise. I'm not too worried though. Um, having said that, with regards to the law, you must wear a face covering outside. Hence why I look like some strange man. Don't need a mask for that really though. <laughs> so it's not super clear down here, but I can see some fish and I think I think they are mudding so that's a good sign if I can see them take bait that's even better but it's not that easy to see <laughs> so we'll see how we go and go from there there's one just over here there's one just over there as well I've lost him but he was over there and yeah so I'm gonna get stuck into it get some Get some baits up and we'll go from there. Here we go. I'll just put some uh, bread on my hook here and I can see the carp has just started the mud on my bread. He's going over it. He got it? Can't see if he's got it. The line starts going away. Yep, yep, I'm on. I am on. Here we go. Sight fished. Sight fished carp on bait. <laughs> That's a monster. Oh, over here, where are you? That's a fat ass carp. Come on, no, it's not ready yet. Come on, come on. Yes, that's a whopper. Okay, didn't bring the brag, Matt, but he's probably 60 centimeters, I reckon. Did you catch that fish? Yeah, mate. Yeah, about 60. Just on bread. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, pretty regularly. Yeah, it's, uh, this is my first time here, and I thought uh, it could be a fishing spot, but kind of a bit small. 
Yeah, okay. There's a few redfin in here, some goldfish and uh, heaps of carp, and a lot of them are that size, so... Yeah, you got... Hey. Just bread. Yeah, just bread on a hook, that's it. So, just get like a handful of bread, like just one piece of bread, burly up so that you can draw them in. There's another one just swimming off here. They all come into it, start feeding. You see them swimming towards it. You just cast a bait in front of them. You'll see them go over to it. Because it's unweighted, they can't really tell there's a hook in it. So you'll see the line take off, set the hook, you're good. So yeah. Yeah, this is the first time I've caught carp like this, but I've seen it done heaps, but um, I usually do it with like, I just usually lure fish, so it's very similar. Yeah, pretty similar. It's very shallow along here, so the carp like to sit along here. You get redfin off the other end there, so, yeah. So, it's just a shame we can't really, well, I get with the carp, we can't put them back, so you've got to kill them when you catch them. Yeah. Uh, you can eat them, but they're not very good eating. They eat the bottom, so they taste like the mud. Yeah. Anyway, boys, I might just get, attend to this fish before it gets away from me. No worries, have a good day. All right, They're nice fellas. Do a bit of fishing himself, which is good. Whoop. Where's that hook? Oh. There you go, guys. Yeah, I'd say at least 55, 60 maybe. Big whopping mud marlin. <laughs> Time to get rid of you, fella. All I did before, as I was explaining to these boys before, is uh, get a bit of bread. Like I said, this is stale bread. It's been sitting in the fridge forever, however long. And you just start to see them sort of mudding along the bottom where you, where you put your burley in that. So, um, well, it's good to let the air out of them, so. Just scrunch it all up like this. Just get it like that. Throw him around. You don't have to throw it out very far because you want the fish to be able to come to you so you don't have to cast so far. And then you're, you're pretty home straight, really. One we'll way to watch them mudding, which they will be soon. All right, we got one mudding now. Is he going to eat it? Is he going to eat it? He's over there. He got it? I can't tell if he's got it. Yeah, I don't know. Strike and hope. Oh, he had it in his mouth. I can't believe it. He had it in his mouth. Too big a piece, maybe? I don't know. Had it in his mouth, just didn't want to... Hadn't finished eating it yet, I guess. Don't know. Got another big one coming in. Let's see if I can cast to him. Here we go, he's going for it. He's going for it.
turn? Why'd you turn, you bugger? Gonna give this about 15 more minutes. And if uh, no carp come to, come to investigate, I'll probably just uh, switch over to plastics, maybe have a crack for a redfin or something. I can't sit still this long. That's why I don't bait fish often. <laughs> I must say, in that first five seconds that I had the, uh, in that first five minutes that I had the uh, carp, carp on was, yeah, it was pretty good. First one I've sight, uh, sight casted before, successfully. Sight casted at plenty of them before, just no success yet. So. Just switch to a soft plastic, gonna go to uh, another little section just down here and uh, see if I can convert. Just gonna whack a plastic on, as I said before. I've got a plastic on, I should say. And uh, yeah, just gonna throw around, see if I can catch a redfin as well. Go from there. So, one carp, sight fished, first time I've ever done that and succeeded. Done it with plastics, I've done it with bread in the past and corn and stuff like that, no luck. Um, just fortunate enough for them to be feeding and I need to fool one of them today. So yeah, I uh, had a couple of other opportunities which you've seen, but yeah, I think I'll get better at it. So yeah, I'm happy with the results from today though. If you enjoyed the video, again guys, thumbs up, really important. Leave a comment if you like seeing this stuff and also if you wanna keep up to date, if you want to see more videos or anything like that and be notified when you see them in the future, that's to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. Just keep flicking.